Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex here with another tutorial and this tutorial is going to be on using Twixter in Sony Vegas Pro 11. Now I know there's been a lot of Twixter tutorials for Sony Vegas on YouTube but I'm going to show you all the steps that you need in order to get the highest and smoothest Twixter slow motion in Vegas Pro 11. So first off, what you need is your clip needs to be in, in 720hc and it needs to be recorded at 60 frames per second. Now once you import your clip onto Vegas, what you want to do is go to your project video properties and then go to match media settings and select your clip and make sure the frame rate is at 59.94 that's also 60 frames per second and click apply. Now, go to your video FX and get the Twixter plugin and apply it to your video clip. Now, first off, uh, Twixter behaves a little differently in After Effects than in Sony Vegas, meaning that it's more smoother in After Effects and uh, it takes less time to render. But in Sony Vegas, only option you can really change is the speed and not anything else. So let's get right to it. Right next to the speed option, what you want to do is make sure you click on this little button called animate. And after you've done that, make sure this little thing is selected so that your cursor is synchronized with your preview. And Make sure your speed percent at first is set to 100%. Then go forward until you go to the part where you want to slow down and accurately select which frame by clicking on any of these arrow keys. I'm going to slow mo it right about here. And what you want to do is select this part, the speed, create a new keyframe, and that's going to have the same settings as it does on the first keyframe. And then go forward about 5 frames, 5 to 10 frames, and then make sure you get the speed percent and make sure you can set it below at about 20 to 10 frames. But I'm just going to set it to 10 frames. And once you apply that, it's going to reset the timing of the footage. So when I turn the Twixter plugin off, the end of the footage is right about here, but when I turn the Twixter on, it's still going to be uh, slow motion. So what you need to do is get the end of your clip, click it and extend it forward. Now when you want to return to your original speed, which is 100 frames, or 100, 100 frames but 100%, what you need to do is go to the part where you want to uh, go to your original speed, make another keyframe, go forward about 5 frames, and then change the speed percent to 100. Now when you preview it, it's going to be a little slow because it takes a lot out of your CPU just to pre-render uh, this little uh, clip. And you see the image is getting kind of distorted. You can't really do anything to fix that in Vegas using Twixter. So let's preview it. And as you notice, the audio doesn't synchronize with the video. So you just want to go in your video clip and press U. Right click on the audio and just delete it. And now we're going to render it out. I'm going to teach you how to render it so that it's compatible with the frame per second of your original footage. So go to File, Render As. Now if you want a really low file size, make sure you select Windows Media Video B11 and select 6 megabits per second HD 720 30p video. Customize the template and make sure you turn off the audio depending on that or you whether you or not you want audio. Go to your video tab, make sure the video smoothness is set to 100 
and the frame rate is set to 59.94 and make sure the image size is set to 1280 by 720 go to project go to best click OK and just rename it test OK and render it out so I hope you guys like this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe comment and rate it and if you have any more questions about this effect please post them in the comments below and if you have any more tutorial requests just send me a message I'll try and get back to you or try to make a tutorial on it as soon as possible and I'll see you guys next time